Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host Chris and I have I got a great beer for you guys tonight. It is Sierra Nevada's 2010 Estate Homegrown Ale. Um, it's wet hopped. They grow all the grains and everything that goes into this beer. The amount of labor that goes into this beer is in extremely impressive. They grow everything. They grow the hops. They grow the grains. Everything that goes into this beer, Sierra Nevada grows and produces. Um, this beer is actually certified organic as well by the USDA. It comes in at 6.7% alcohol by volume, so it's a pretty light beer. Um, it comes somewhere in between like a pale ale and IPA as far as style goes. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. 2009's Estate Ale was just absolutely epic. Um, so I'm really looking forward to this one. So with that said, let me just get this one into a glass so you know how it smells, how it tastes. Give me the verdict on the 2010 Sierra Nevada Estate Homegrown Ale. All right, so the appearance on the uh, Estate Homegrown Ale. It's a beautiful, beautiful dark copper. Um, really, really nice off-white head. Really fluffy. There's about three fingers worth. Really tiny bubbles in there. A um, little bit of haze to it. Carbonation streaming off the bottom of the glass. It looks a lot you know like a like a double ipa it does have that look to it um yeah the, the lacing is just crazy as you can see in the video you can see some alcohol feet which is surprising coming in 6.7 percent so just overall just a very very gorgeous looking beer all right now the aroma on the estate out and i gotta tell you as soon as i broke the wax on this and popped the cap i could smell the hops on this one yeah, this is the best smelling beer I've ever smelled, period, end of statement. Um, the hops in this are just so incredibly fresh. Tons of lemon peel, grapefruit, just a ton of grapefruit. There's, you know, that tropical flavor in there. Slight breadiness from the from the yeast and, and the grains they use. It's a little bit of a roasted character. Slight like caramel flavors in there. Yeah, the hops are the absolute star of the show. There's some astringency in there. It just smells so unbelievably fresh. You need to get a fresh bottle of this just to smell how good this beer smells. It is absolutely amazing. All right, so the taste on the Estate Ale 2010. The freshness is just unbelievable. Right at the front of the tongue, tons of bitterness followed with just a grapefruit taste just filling your mouth just like fresh squeezed grapefruit juice back of the tongue you get some of the breadiness from the malt in there that toffee definitely comes through and there's a there's a sweetness from the malt that really balances out the big characteristics from the fresh hops the yeast there's definitely a little bit of a dryness definitely a very very dry beer some a lot of dryness in there from the yeast very very west coast very very traditional sierra nevada it's in there between an ipa and a pale ale i think it tends to be more of an IPA. I, I would feel comfortable calling it an IPA, but just the freshness, the absolute freshness on this one, the hops, the, the citrus characters, the tropical fruits, the, the graininess in there just exudes freshness. It just makes an absolutely amazing tasting beer. All right, to the end of the day, the 2010 Sierra Nevada State Homegrown Ale, Wet Hop, available now. It is very, very limited. I gotta give this one an A+. This is actually an absolutely perfect example of what Sierra Nevada does best. Um, the color is dead on. It's a gorgeous orange, lots of head. The aroma is just nothing like you've ever smelt in a beer. It is so unbelievably fresh. Just the grains and the hops are just unrealistically fresh. It's unbelievable. Um, the taste is just like grapefruit juice, fresh grape squeezed grapefruit juice just filling your mouth. There's a great amount of bitterness, tropical fruits, citrus in there, a huge amount of bready notes, caramel, toffee, and then it all just really finishes really dry and just cleans you out, wanting more. The amount of work that goes into a beer like this is just off the charts and the fact that they only charge ten dollars for a 750 milliliter bottle you can't beat it so this gets my highest rating it gets an a plus this is the sierra nevada home grunel estate ale <laughs> it's a hard one to say 6.7 percent available now definitely definitely get yourself a bottle of this fridge it as soon as you get it too and don't let it sit in the fridge too long it's not going to hold up real well so with that said i give this one an a plus and remember friends life is too short Drink amazing beers like this is stale. It's absolutely phenomenal. Cheers.